Okay, hello YouTube. We're having a good week. Uh, Joe asked for something very uncommon, which was a day off yesterday, so we took it. Uh, strength and conditioning is working out perfectly. We're dividing technical things up from uh, a lot of the other things that we do trying to get more order in what we do and it's working out pretty good uh, some bumps in the road because we're changing things up but all in all everything's working great I want to tell you a little story within a story so I'm going to tell you a little story here hang on just hang on with it and, uh, you'll see why you'll see the psychology of it uh, so we're walking up to the store I believe it was the day before yesterday to get the food we're going to get I'm lucky right over here about three or four hundred yards we can walk right over to get fresh meat vegetables everything so I get things fresh daily and here where we're living, I'm able to get things cheaper that way. So it works out great. Clean food, clean, fresh food with no preservatives in it, in anything. And uh, it just works great. But we're walking up there to the store. And I said, uh, Joe, let me tell you the story about this guy, this delivery driver. I said, like, okay, Dad. So I start telling him the story, and I'll tell you the story. And I'll tell you how I told him. Well, son, there was this delivery driver, and he delivered auto parts around. And he put a video up about this because it's so strange. So he was normally delivered to, to this guy, but he went one day, Goes in there, sees the guy. The guy's acting totally normal, real nice to him as usual. And uh, he said, but for a moment, I saw the his eyes. There were no white to his eyes. His eyes were all black. And his ears even gave the appearance for a moment in time of being pointed at the top. He said, oh, I come out of there, I'm like, is something wrong with me? I'm, am I having... He didn't know what was going on, so he put a video up asking people, hey, what could be wrong that I saw this today? And people are talking about things such as ep epileptic seizures and such. And as I'm telling Joe this story like this, I'm dealing with Rocky, our German Shepherd. I'm saying hello to people as we're walking up the sidewalk. Uh, and Joe's like, that's about where I stopped with the story. And Joe's like, oh, Daddy, will you get on with it? I'm like, get on with what? He's like, the story you're telling me. I'm like, no, nah, I'll tell you tomorrow. I'll finish it tomorrow. <laughs> he didn't like that one bit. Of course, I had no plans on finish it finishing it the next day but that was me nudging him back so anyway I said now I'll go ahead and tell you the how the story ended up the story ended up he, he went back there were automatic deliveries that this guy was making to this place with these parts and nobody had canceled it yet the guy had been dead for two weeks before. So that's the, the story. But what I wanted to, to give you, that's the story in the story, is how older folk can control younger folk and just uh, lead them along into something. And... Uh, so I thought that was pretty cute. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. But the story was a neat story. It was a supposed true story that a guy, he had put it up online. And uh, 
so I can't verify that it was true, but I believe it was true. I believe certain things happened like that that we can't explain, uh, but uh, because we are always in a spiritual battle. But anyway, I wanted to share share a little bit of that with you. Hope it gave you a little laugh because. I, I certainly was laughing when he was like, Dad, will you get on with the story? I was like, nope, I'll just, I'll tell you the rest of it tomorrow, son. <laughs> so, moral of the story is don't go messing around with your daddies and don't go messing around with old folk. <laughs>